All right, guys, so we just got to our first spot of the day. Right now, I'm using this, um, right now I'm using this bait by uh, Bass Reaper. It's a paddle tail. Uh, the good thing about this lure is it's actually white, but if you look really closely, it's got some blue to it. Um, and I'm actually really a fan of that because it looks like an actual uh, fish. It looks like scales almost. So really cool the way they do that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a few peacock bass. I decided to go with the paddle tail just because uh, typically that'll get these guys running. All right guys, we're heading into uh, one of our buddy's house. Uh, he's got a little waterfront property here and there's m usually peacocks here. Uh, we usually get pretty lucky. But today, I think the water is just so hot that nothing's really moving much. Oh my God. Guys, that was, that was wild. That was just wild. Nice male, uh, you can tell it's a male from the bump on their, on their back. And he's actually traveling in a school. That was crazy, they all just went after it. I don't wanna keep him out of the water too long, but beautiful South Florida peacock bass, guys. This is what we're here for. Aggressive, mean fish. Awesome, let's release them. Sweet. So we're back and re-rigged. We're still here at our buddy's house. I'm gonna see if we can at least get a couple more peacocks here. I just find it crazy how, um, you know, people are spending so much money on these charters for peacock bass. And we really take it for granted that we have these fish right here in our backyards. And it's just, it's such a big business for these guys. A lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them are uh, making some decent money, making livings off catching peacock bass here in Florida. It's just crazy. I mean, when it's so expensive and so hard to get to these foreign places like uh, the Amazon, it makes you think, why not just come down to Miami and try to get a few peacocks, you know? It's really a crazy thing. Right now we're getting attacked by the school. This is awesome. The smaller ones are schooling, but there's, I know there's a bigger one in the back, back there, right there. Hit it, hit it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. That's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. That's a nice one. Look at that, fellas. This is another male. His bump is just not as big. Uh, he's probably just either spawned or he will be spawning shortly. These are just such hard fighting fish. I can never get over this. What an amazing specimen. Awesome. And they're very vibrant. They're very, very vibrant. As you can see, always kicking. <laughs> always, always kicking. They're just jack full of testosterone. That is actually where they store their testosterone in that little ball that you see there on the top. That hump, the bigger the hump, the more testosterone they're pumping. This is just a beast. Let's just get it in the water. <laughs> he took off. That was good. So back in um, back in the 1980s, FWC introduced uh, peacock bass to Florida, specifically this canal system we're fishing right now. Um, and that's why the population is so heavy here. Uh, it's because this is where they were first introduced. And um, the reason that FWC decided to, uh, to bring the peacock bass to South Florida is because they wanted to combat all the other exotic fish that were worse for the ecosystem. P 
peacock bass are actually do a really great job of, of uh, eating exotics and eating uh, fish that are undesirable when they're young. Um, the trade-off is sometimes they will eat the native fish like largemouth bass, uh, the spotted gar, Florida gar. Sometimes those will be eaten. But down here in South Florida, because of the aquarium trade, we just have such a big uh, exotic fish problem that they were willing to do anything. And at the same time, they've also introduced a very, very good sport fighting fish, as you can see. You know, that fight is very similar to something I would get in saltwater. And I'm right here in my backyard. So it's kind of crazy. It's really, really amazing at the end of the day. Let's check out these storm drains. Another one. Oof. These peacocks are here by the dozen guys. And a lot of guys out there who haven't caught peacocks, um, I know there's a few uh, from my personal channel that I got a, I got a message the other day from a kid uh, who was asking what's the best way to catch peacocks. The best way is using something that's very jiggy, like something like with a paddle tail. Um, you wanna use something that you know they're gonna be attracted to. Feathers, red, white, they love white. That's why this Bass Reaper bait is so good for peacocks. And it's intentionally used for largemouth bass. Oh, he's stuck. This is gonna offset my hook. Another peacock bass. This might look like a female, but it's actually a male. You could tell because he's got a very premature hump on his head. Uh, he's not pumping too much testosterone right now. But if you guys, if you see these guys when they're spawning in March, it's you know it's crazy. This is probably my favorite fish ever. I love these guys. Those colors just perfectly complementary. Absolutely love these things. Let's get a release. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna keep on hitting this area. Uh, basically what's going down is they're just all nested around these pipes. Perfect shade over there between the trees and the pipes. Also, they love sunlight. This spot is just absolutely perfect recipe for peacock bass. Let's see if we can get a few more and maybe we'll switch up spots sometime soon. So I hope you enjoyed that episode here on Man Made Customs. Uh, we had a blast filming this video. Uh, really quick, I just wanna get into the detail of the Bass Reaper baits that I was using today. Uh, they did a phenomenal job getting on the peacocks. Uh, typically people will use the bass reaper bait for largemouth bass um, and you know for tournament fishing stuff of that of that nature but i did find that the white swim bait is a very very effective peacock bass lure uh, the color the color combo on this thing is just unbeatable that very nice blue uv tint uh, on the white rubber uh, it's very elastic uh, very durable i was actually very uh, impressed with these before i used soft baits and uh, bass reaper baits i was actually using uh, rapalas and hard lures and they were just so much more amped up to hit these white plastics, uh, uh, these white swim baits that I think every time I go peacock fishing, I'm probably just gonna use a white paddle tail, um, spe specifically the Bass Reaper paddle tail. All these ridges, uh, it, it fits so perfectly. They definitely kept uh, the idea of the hook in their design, um, and it just fits so perfectly through this groove uh, right here in the middle. They got a lot of ridges on it, and unlike a lot of plastics and a lot of uh, paddle tails and white flukes that you see, they actually went in detail and they got the gills, the eyes, um, and they went very specific with the ridges on the side. Um, it's very, very impressive to see how much time and energy they put into these baits. Um, and I think that the, those specifics really do help out when you're targeting peacocks. It really gets them in the mood of, of eating. Uh, really quick, I just want to show you guys the weighted hook I was using. This is not the bait we were using. We are using the white paddle tail, um, but we are using this exact weight, uh, weighted hook. The reason I use these weighted hooks is because it's a really effective way of getting to the bottom of these peacocks. They're not always eating on the top and they're not always nesting. Sometimes they are on the bottom. Uh, sometimes they are nesting on the bottom of the surface uh, rather than 
uh, right there on the banks. Uh, down in the Everglades, these lizards would definitely do really good, or basically any uh, dark water um, areas for largemouth. Um, we even threw this at a peacock uh, a little while ago and, and it really liked it as well. Um, not as much as the swim bait. If you guys are going peacock fishing, uh, this paddle tail made by Bass, uh, Bass Reaper is actually a really, really amazing uh, fish. Um, I also want to show you guys the assassin bug uh, by Bass Reaper Baits. Um, it is just an amazing uh, uh, way of catching largemouth bass. This is such a um, high definition color combo that they have here. Just really, really good with the uh, sparkling uh, paint. Um, you can't beat that out there in the sun. I think we're actually getting really good lighting here. Um, when you're out there and they see this, they kind of freak out. Uh, but pretty soon we're gonna do a largemouth bass video. I just really wanted to get to uh, kind of prove a point that these things are so good that even the peacock bass that are known to be a little bit picky uh, when it comes to what you throw at them, uh, they were eating these up like nothing. And I really do think it has to do with the way they design these things. It's really, really thick at the top and then it just kind of, you know, leans out into this very skinny paddle tail. And this is just such a free moving um, uh, part of the body when you're reeling in. And it really does get them amped up. I was very, very impressed with this bait. And uh, I definitely will be throwing these from now on. I don't think I'll be uh, uh, using any sort of hard plastics or Rapalas. I think from now on, it's safe to say I will be using uh, paddle tails only. Um, I also wanted to touch on a few things uh, with Bass Reaper. Their, their uh, baits are very, very durable. Um, I actually did a, a few tests uh, of my own, uh, stretching them out um, and kind of seeing how long lasting these baits are. And I've had this pack of baits for a long time already. And um, they do a really great job of, of fighting the elements. Um, and I've actually reused this exact bait a lot of, you know, a pretty decent amount of times. And the only reason I mention that is because sometimes I'll, you know, I'll go to Walmart or I'll go to uh, any um, of these, uh, of these bait shops down here and I'll, I'll buy a regular pack of lizards or just the company brand. Um, and it's just not as durable as these. Um, I would definitely highly suggest checking out uh, the Bass Reaper shop on Man Made Customs. Lots of cool stuff on there, um, especially if you're planning on coming down here to South Florida um, and you really want to get after these peacock bass, maybe before you come down here, uh, definitely check out our website and pick up a bag of these uh, before you actually make the trip down here um, because this is going to make your life a lot easier. You're not going to have to buy live bait. You know, you saw it today. Um, there was absolutely no need for live bait today just because of how well these guys were swimming and, and um, getting on the, uh, on the peacocks. Um, in the past, I have used uh, hard bait lures, even Rapalas that, I, you know, they'll see it and they'll kind of just look the other way because they've already hinted um, that, it's, that it's not real. And yes, they are very aggressive. They do bite um, a, lot of, a lot of baits that you normally wouldn't think they bite, but they, they are very smart. Um, in the sense that they will, you know, avoid bad baits. So very happy with Bass Reaper baits. Huge thumbs up for them. Uh, Bass Reaper, if you guys are watching this, huge thanks uh, from the Man Made Customs team, and I hope we could uh, do more business in the future. Uh, once again, guys, if you love this, if you love this video, leave a like, uh, comment below so, uh, something that you might want to see in the future. Also, uh, if you're watching this video and you might want to collab uh, with uh, the Man Made Customs channel, we are always looking for collaborators. Uh, please give us a DM on Instagram. I'm going to leave the Instagram right here um, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, reach out to you guys as well. Um, thank you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video.